Mm-hmm. All right, here we go right here. Main event, Shaquille O'Neal has pissed off some feminists uh, with this antics right here. He's facing backlash right here because of this particular quote from Angel Reese. If you guys don't know who Angel Reese is, she's the WNBA player that looks like uh, the character from uh, Ice Age. Now, I'm going to say this right now. I don't know who who keeps telling me this woman is attractive. I mean, I guess she has a nice body. She's six foot three. Uh, and she recently has been had her booty out here, as you can see. She dressed like this at the Wild and Out show. As you can see, half of her booty cheeks are out. So she's chose to wear this outfit. And she's also uh, using her body in order to capitalize off of men's sexuality by branding herself and getting brand deals. So she's using men's sexuality, but she doesn't want men to use the sexuality and the power back on her. She's choosing to do this as a grown ass adult. She's 22 years old or roughly in that age. She's a mature woman. She's doing this sexually to capitalize off of whatever industry she is, but she doesn't want men to sexualize her. She, in fact, has complained about being sexualized and played the victim. Absolutely ridiculous, right? So here she is here. Here she is uh, uh, with Shaquille O'Neal, who they both played at LSU, so he's serving as sort of a mentor for her. But uh, people have suggested that they have something more. Let's play the clip. Little dog, bro. Imagine you. In I'm not same, imagining. On, let me finish. Imagine you in the same little shirt you had on at the Wild and Out show, Duncan. You know how many t-shirts you gonna sell, cause you tripping. Oh my what? god. <laughs> what? What? Oh the same little shirt you had on. Okay. The all right. All right. You, all right. Duncan, all right. All right. All right. All right. So there she is, right there. So that little clip right there got people's panties in a bunch. As you can see, her panties. She's not wearing any panties. All right. Mm. Yes, indeed. Hello. I mean, all she got is a buttocks, and I'm not particularly feeling any appeal to this woman at all, all right? But a lot of people do like her, and hey, everybody has their type. Shaquille O'Neal in his early 50s, she has a 30-year age gap here. There are people that are saying that he should not be attracted to her. He should not be attracted to her, well, because he has daughters her age. But we already discussed that men typically find women attractive at this age group. Right when they're fit, it doesn't matter how old the man is. For some reason, men, and it's a logical reason, fertility window, men find women at this age primarily attractive. That doesn't mean they exclude any other woman from being attractive. You can find a woman in their 30s, 40s, 50s attractive. But if you're in your 50s, you can find a woman sexually appealing in their 20s. A lot of people don't understand why this is the case. Women tend to As they age, they also have an age in preference, typically. But men don't. Men can go all the way back to the fertility window, and he could be 60. For some reason, people think this makes you a dirty old man, and they will say things about your daughter's the same age, and that could be your daughter. But neither of those things are true. Neither of those things aren't even relevant. (laughs) They're not even relevant. That doesn't mean I'm not attracted to my daughter, right? Nor... Am I, you know, is, is that my daughter age going to be relevant in sexual attraction? All right. So people are using that to say this. Now, let me just go back to, and show you this. Shaquille O'Neal, 50, 53, I believe. This woman is 56. This woman is 56. This woman here, all right, in the main event. Let me change the banner. This woman here is closer to Shaquille O'Neal's age. Now, I beg you, should Shaquille O'Neal find this woman attractive? Should Shaquille O'Neal find this woman more attractive than Angel Reese? Because conventional wisdom, moronic wisdom says men should like and be attracted to women their age. Now, this woman's closer to his age. Should he be more attracted to her than Angel Reese? You see what I'm saying? You see how ridiculous that sounds? This woman's obviously not as attractive than Angel Reese. Not even close. She's completely lumpy, soggy completely overweight. I don't care if the woman's attractive. She is not going to be seen as more attractive than to, to Shaquille O'Neal than Angel Reese. It's not even going to be close. But that's what they want men to do. They want men to somehow be walking outside and looking at all of these slumped over, soggy women because I'm 40 and that woman's 40. He's supposed to be attracted to her. When I'm looking at all this prime punani, be walking around here and so forth and so on. See, that's number one. Number two, here's where we have a massive problem. 
Okay, this is where we have a massive problem. All right, why is it that, this is the problem, when a woman does this, this is just conversation. When a woman is dressed provocatively, my question is, who is she dressed provocatively for? Now, we know men are going to look. Certainly, women always deny it. We ain't dressing for men. This is a cotton-picking lie. You're dressing to take advantage of men's sexual nature by benefiting money, energy, and attention or time-wise. Hey, you're going to benefit from this, obviously. This is why you wore the shorts. Not only that, you walked out there in the crowded stadium, okay, with your ass cheeks out, but you're out here pretending somewhat feeling weird about being sexualized. My question is, if you're wearing this, do you think men in their 40s and 50s should close their eyes and only the men in their 20s and 30s should be aroused or even look? Do you think when you dress like this that the men in their 40s and 50s say, oh, that could be my daughter. I should not be aroused by this. Do you think they should feel some guilt? Do you think they should tur- their, close their eyes? Do you think men under a certain age group should not look at this at all? Oh, no. Well, that would be foolish. It's because she cannot dictate who is sexually aroused by her. She can't say only men in their 20s and early 30s. She has to take the men, 40, 50, 60, and 70, being aroused by her. She doesn't get to dictate that. You see what I mean? But this is what we let them do is get get away with this and then shame and crucify men that she's obviously got walking in front of me. I'm 40-something years old. Uh, I can see her ass cheeks too. I should find this appealing too. Not because, oh, my daughter's eight. No, that don't count. If your ass and titties are out, you, can't, you don't get to say the ugly men don't get the look, the six-foot tall men don't get the look, the black men don't get the look, the white men don't get the look, the older men don't get the look. You can't just go ahead and just say it's wrong for men to be able to find that appealing. Can't do it. Can't do it. So now here's where the question is, why are people upset at Shaq? Because he found her somehow made the compliment or the comment that the WNBA probably could benefit more if she was dunking in these shorts as the poles of their bull dagger uniform, all right, which is going to be a more masculine representation of the uniform. It's going to be cut, covered up, pretty much minimizing any sex appeal, especially with the women running around wearing it. He said perhaps you would get more people to watch if you were running around in these and trying to dunk in these. Now, people have tried to help the WNBA get more viewership. I'm going to just tell you. I coached women's basketball for many years, 15, like 15, 16 years. It is never going to be a high-level spectator sport unless two things happen. And it is not lowering the rim. It is not dunking. You would have to lower the rim to seven feet for women to dunk the way you need them to dunk. An open court transition dunk is not going to get people to watch. You would need the people to have dunk in traffic, okay? Like reverse dunk in traffic and dunk on someone contested for people to watch. Therefore, lowering the rim to nine feet is not going to do it. Okay, women cannot jump nine feet and dunk on someone in traffic, right? That ain't going to happen. You're going to need it to be seven feet. If it's seven feet, then they'll be able to swat any shot right out the air, and the score will be 10 to 2 at the end of the game. All right, so the goaltending will be ridiculous. That's number one. There's two things that would need to be happen. You would need a bunch of lily white girls in motherfucking ponytails and barrettes and braids and ribbons to increase viewership for the WNBA. That'll be number one. Number one, get a bunch of uh, stock factory issue, girl next door, white girls. And make them the best players in the league. All right, because you're talking about families and friends. Now y'all got all these activists and bull daggers and all that shit running around the court, bumping their chests and shit like that. Ain't nobody bother to watch all that. Because women's sports, combat-wise, do not do well in America. In America, combat sports with women don't do well, meaning any physicality is never going to do well. Tackle football, anybody bitch posting up, elbowing them. They never do well. Feminine sports do very well. Tennis, all right, where they're tennis over here, where there are other persons on the other side of the net. 
They're never going to touch each other. All right, they fixing their little braid. They got long ponytails. All right, volleyball typically does well visually during the Olympics. Anything where the woman is not combative with the opponent, gymnastics, dance, ice skating, these do well. UFC does not out, UFC women does not outdo UFC men, right? It does well. Does it do better than the men? The answer is no. Gymnastics women does better than the men. Women's volleyball does better than the men. Women's tennis is on par with the men. UFC women is not on par with UFC men. Okay, so that's number one. So you would need girls next door, lily white girls with long ponytails, number one, running around there, not in big baggy shorts, crossing motherfuckers over. You need them to be out there like it's tea time. Okay. We're talking about, we're talking about, does the woman's sport do as well or better than the men? UFC is not even close, all right? Not even the WWE women aren't even close. But when, they, when it's a non-combative sport, when the women are participating and just running around, dilly-dallying, and they're not faced up with the competitor, when they're always faced up with the competitor, it never does well. That's number one. Swimming is another example. It does just, we'll watch swimming women, diving women. We won't watch the men at all, <laughs> all right? We'll watch women run the 100 meters in them little spanks. We ain't going to, I mean, we'll watch the men too. It does just as well. Now, the second way to be able to do this is you would have to hypersexualize the women. All right, so that's another way to do it. Dunking ain't going to matter. So if you had attractive women playing the WNBA, that's going to raise the viewership. So you got Caitlin Clark's. Lily white girls, girl next door, long hair, they're heterosexual. And you're going to have the viewership skyrocket. Caitlin Clark is an example. Or you took some bimbo blondes and a bunch of baddies and put them out there. We'll watch that, and the game will be 10 to 2. We'll be locked in. We'll be locked in. Not no big, fat booty girls. We want some girls. We want girls. That's the only way you will increase viewership for the WNBA, period. Other than that, they've tried just about everything they did. And I would say the last thing they, they need are activisms, right? You don't need women that are completely victimizing themselves and social activists and social justice warriors. That is never going to work. Nobody wanted to hear these girls taking advantage, not taking advantage of their situation and being just happy to be there. And they're continuing to push the feminism envelope. It ain't going to work. Trust me, I've been in women's sports for many years. I'm telling you, this is adverse to what they want to do. Now, Let's talk about the sexualization of this woman here, why the people are mad. Let's start at this woman right here. Um, we got a lot of people here that are upset about this. Where's my, okay, here we go right here. That Andrew Reese and Shaq shit is the main reason why I'm very strategic about um, presentation. And I'm going to keep it real with you. One thing I'm learned about, one thing I'm learning about men, it don't matter how you present it, how respectful you are, how much you try to put emphasis on um, the the relationship dynamic you see with them. A man gonna always be a man. A man gonna always sexualize you if that's what his, if that's how he view you, that's how he view you. But that shit right there is the main reason why I never allow niggas to tell me like, oh, you need to be sexier, like especially with this rap shit. I'm never going to allow y'all niggas to tell me I need to be sexy, sexier or I need to carry myself sexier because y'all already going to do it. It don't matter. All right, so the whole thing is she's mad because Shaquille O'Neal said, hey, be sexier and you'll get more views. And now she's like, nah, and I'm sorry that this position this way on the video. Obviously, she a rough, raw digger ass bitch. All right, Hurricane G type. <laughs> All right, what's the other woman name? Uh, Papoose and the other chick. All right, extra aggressive, aggressive, black and mild lip, drink smoking. All right, she want to be out here rapping, and she's talking about being sexualized because women do not want to be sexualized. My question is this. <laughs> My question is, look, ma'am, here, here's the question. Do you want to benefit for being a woman, or do you want to let everybody be able to get a fair chance at doing things, male or female? She probably wants to benefit some way as a woman. Give a woman a chance. Build a lane for the women. At that point, you got to open yourself up to the possibility that your sexuality 
is going to play a role in that. If you don't want that, then why do we open a lane up for you and give you an opportunity because you're a woman? I mean, you can't have it both ways. So now you mad that that Shaq running around here. See, he was going supposed to be a mentor and men going to see you sexual anyway. Okay, yes. Because we're alive. As long as I'm alive and I have eyesight and I have hormones, we're going to find women arousing or it's always going to play a part. They want to just take that part out. Let's just take that part out and compartmentalize that, but still let it benefit me at the same time. I mean, this is sad, sad. No matter how a woman presents herself, what her what her fucking field or profession is, if you want to sexualize her, you gonna sexualize her. Of course. I hate when niggas be like, yeah, you just gotta be more sexy with your rap shit and all. Why? Why y'all horny already? Y'all already. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all already. Ma'am, that dude, they hate God at this point. They hate God. Why we horny already? <laughs> like, do you guys understand how men work? And do you understand that men have the money? We have the power, the control, or the leverage. They want to get to the point where just women have the leverage so they can do it the way they want. And guess what? When the men don't show up and support, it's our problem. Look at what Barack Obama and Kamala Harris said. Kamala Harris wanted to run our campaign on killing babies. When the men said, fuck it, we out. Guess what? Did they try to shame and browbeat us? Same thing with the WNBA. They wanted to be out here activists and cut their head bald and be Lily Lint Lickers and push gay and rainbow. And they want to do the Black Lives Matter and kneel and, and leave the court during the national anthem. Guess what? Men said, fuck it. We ain't going to come to the show. And when we don't come to the show, they mad. Hey, y'all want to do it your way. Go do it. Y'all wanted to have 250 pound husky broads out here thumping their chest and teammates marrying each other, go for it. But I don't have to support it. Now watch this. Why don't y'all support it yourself? <laughs> mm. Then they don't want to support it. Well, we ain't got the money. Exactly. <laughs> like, what the hell? Gotcha, bitch. You're going to have to deal with this at the end of the day. Didn't they bring Barack Obama ass out there threatening to bring his wife, quote, unquote, wife, out to browbeat us and wag his finger at us? Y'all need to get out there. For what? Y'all wanted to delete your babies. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Mm. Vote for it and I get the vote. Don't come out here and shame us and tell us to vote, uh, give us our wallet and support us. If you don't want to do it where our input is matters. See, when I put money on some shit, I want some shit back. But they want to do it their way. Go do it your way, baby, and see how far your rap career go, raw digger. Papoose and whatever the old, ugly old husky voice has. Let me hear another woman talking about this here. Irate. And what I really wanted to get into before I go clock the fuck back in is why Shaq is so fucking weird. You really thought it was okay to sit here and sexualize this girl on television, social media, whatever the fuck it was on. Let me say this. This woman just said Sha Shaq sexualized her. Let's go back to this picture, bruh. This woman wore this. Now, she wasn't wearing this in front of Shaquille O'Neal. This woman says Shaq sexualized her. Ninja. I mean, this how far? Really? It, it's, this is Shaq's fault. Shaq sexualized her. Okay. And he weird. Okay, here we go. That was okay. For one, she could be your daughter. For there it is. He could be her daughter. He, she's not his daughter. I don't understand this one for the life of me. For first, she could be her daughter. And? Mm. And what, what does that mean? Hold <laughs> on for a second. Wait. What that mean? She's not my daughter. I don't sexualize my daughter. She's not my daughter. <laughs> like, what are we talking about? He says Shaq should have done this off camera. Uh, wh why, do you, why do you think men should mute themselves for the pleasure of women? We need more men to say what the fuck we want to say. That's what we need. We don't need men to be hiding the shit no more. No. Say what you got to say and let them deal with it. He shouldn't have done shit off camera. He did it right where he needed to do it. And guess what? They got to face reality. Because the WNBA about to go bankrupt. All right. So maybe he was on to something. I don't think he was right. 
But that's what he said. Ninja, we need to say what the fuck we want to say and let them deal with it. The problem with American men is they afraid to say what they want to say in public because these bitches going to get their panties in a bunch and can't do nothing about it. Well, I'm going to say what I want to say. You deal with it. Stand on that shit. He stood on it. Stop hiding that shit. He should have said this and said it in her ear. No. Say what he want to say, what's on his mind, and let him deal with it because they're going to have to deal with him. All right, but they, everybody got to be, men supposed to be scared because women going to be offended. No, hell no. No, that's not an accurate way to live our lives here. That just gives the women the power for no damn reason. Two, she's in the same industry you're in. That's fucking crazy as fuck. You just showed the stereotype at hand, stereotype at hand. You're weird as shit. And I'm weird, weird. What's weird about it? Sorry, he made you feel that way, Angel Reese. Because that shit feel. It's not okay. That shit needs to be talked about. Okay, talk about it. What's the problem with it? Other than that could have been his daughter. It's not his daughter. Okay, now what? <laughs> the fact that I have not heard that that many people talking about this shit. Is I'm talking crazy. about like, it. This shit, this sexual, that was sexual fucking harassment. Sexual harassment. <laughs> right, hold on for a second. Do I never the Sexual harassment. Again. You want to benefit from the monetarily, the, uh, the attention. You want to benefit. We talked about this earlier. You want to be able to sit in another man's lap. And, hold on for a second. Where's the, where's the video on Rachel Riz? Oh, shit. I deleted it right here. You want to be able to come up to men, sit on a lap, use them as fodder, record them, sexually harass them. But then when it comes back, flying back to you, it's sexual harassment. Remember I showed you this? She was the one set the phone up. She was the one sat on his lap. She was the one hugged up to him and saying he's going to come with you and get a treat. Now, the minute he puts his hands on you, it's sexual harassment. So you wanted to benefit and use him and make some money and get some attention online. And you wanted to put your hands and legs on him. And you wanted to sit next to him to get you a fucking video. Soon as he touch you, you're uncomfortable. It's sexual harassment. You see this? Now, same thing with Angel Reese. You wanted to be out here. It's your ass out. <laughs> but then when a real OG comes up and says something, now it's sexual fucking harassment. This is some insane shit. So you sexually harass the entire audience of people out there on this stage. Am I right? If that's sexual harassment, is this not sexual harassment? You may, you put your ass out in front of everybody that nobody asked you to do. <laughs> and now that's not sexual harassment. Okay. All right. Have it your way. When nobody says that shit was sexual harassment. Clock it, clock it, clock it. He literally has been fantasizing about her in them little shorts, quote unquote. And like, what's the problem here? <laughs> mm. He's fantasizing her in them little shorts. Let's show you again. What is the intent to wear the little shorts? Isn't it for men to fantasize about her or am I wrong? Maybe she wants a woman to fantasize about her. He literally has been, again, you're using men's sexuality against him. You're running around with dookie shorts on, booty shorts on. He's not supposed to fantasize about this. Why? Tell me why. Why? I want a good reason why. No, that's his daughter's age. That's not a good reason. Why? Why can't he fantasize about this? <laughs> These people are insane. The fuck is wrong with him? She look good in them shorts. Don't get me wrong. There you go. She looks good in them, but. 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 What the fuck? Just what the fuck? Who the fuck says some shit like that? And in effect, like you bringing, you're bringing it up again. <laughs> That's what the God. These people are insane, bro. Absolutely insane. We got another one right here. Angel Reese feels like how most women feel when they think that they have a, you know, platonic relationship with a male figure or even like a father figure and then realize that all along the person has ill intention. For Shaq to come out his mouth at the age of 52, I think, or 54, something like go. that, and say that Angel Reese would have to, you know, wear the little shorts that she wore when she was on Wild and Out, which why are you looking at her fucking ass anyway? Wow. So he can't look. Again, that's what I told you earlier. They literally want to walk out and do this and tell people who can and can't look. You can't look. Okay, he can look. 
Okay, he can look. All right, he's young. He's 22, and he's tall. He gets to look. Okay, he's 28 and rich. He gets to look. Okay, he's white. He can't look. <laughs> right? Oh, he's short. He can't look. All right, no. Why you? Why you think you can look? All right, you're 52. You can't look. You see what I mean? This is the, they're only they're only really hurting themselves with this argument. All right, the, the, like oh, you get the look. You don't get the look. Nasty ass. But for him to say that she has to wear those shorts, and you know how much attention she would get if she wear those shorts. You're nasty and you're a predator. This get man, they just be throwing words around nasty and predator. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you're right. For what reason? He's nasty. And he made her walk out in these shorts? Okay. Gives the same energy that men like him would literally talk to their fucking daughters. Let's there it is again. Why do they get hung up on that? There it is again, the daughter. How many men, and I'm going to just say this. Do you guys know that men sexually assaulting their daughters is extremely rare? extremely weird not to say it doesn't happen but men sexualizing or sexually assaulting their daughter is absolutely rare you know what's not rare a stepdaddy doing it it is actually very common a stepdaddy a family member they're way more likely to do it a man that the woman is dating after a divorce or something like that that is extremely common but they keep throwing this daughter daddy thing out. That is a bum argument. That argument don't fly because that's not his daughter. <laughs> that's not his daughter. That's crazy. But stepdads, of course, yes. I forget Lil Duval when he was tweeting those tweets about his daughter. Yeah, ain't nobody forget about that. Y'all may have, but I have not. Like you literally know. walked this lady out at her senior night. He is so what? Like, what case are they making here? <laughs> he walked her out during the senior night. Okay. Okay. Nasty. He is a definition of money cannot buy happiness because you would think with all the money that Shaq got, he will be able to find somebody that actually loves him instead of being a fucking weirdo. I know. There it is, guys. There's nothing. This is just an emotional argument. What are you talking about? He can find anybody he wants to love him. He probably doesn't want that. He probably wants some young, he want to put his hands on some young hips. And he does this. He does this better than anyone. No, Israel gave his weird ass a good check. He need to go take that check and buy somebody that's on his fucking age to be with. But y'all know that you see. Again, there it is. Find himself someone his own age. You see these arguments right here. Let's go back. This is a woman his own age. So in this case, even as a millionaire, top 5% economically, Shaquille O'Neal is so only supposed to be with a woman like this. That's his age. This should be what Shaquille O'Neal is doing. <laughs> All right. Do you see the clown shit that I don't see? He should no longer be attracted to this. <laughs> Let give you a little bit more. When men in their 50s have to find a woman or a girl that's half their age, nobody wants them around their age because they're fucking disgusting. Okay, so now, wait a minute. Wait, he's supposed to find someone his age, but no woman wants him? What is he supposed to do? Nothing? Just, just fade out into oblivion? Okay, nobody my age wants me. So what am I supposed to do? Nothing? I can't look at younger women? <laughs> Prime example. Angel Reese feels like how... All this shame. And these bitches, and look at the women talking, by the way. <laughs> right? Look at the women talking. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can find another rant and raving woman uh, related to this one, by the way, right here. Uh, here we go. Shaq's comments were disgusting. And then I go and spoil. All right. So this is just, a, you know, it's TikTok, it's music in the background. We don't want to know that one right here. 
Why is Shaq being creepy? Shaquille O'Neal is sparking some backlash for some really creepy comments that he made to WNBA star Angel Reese on her new podcast, Unapologetically Angel. <gasps> so they're having this conversation, a very candid conversation about the WNBA and talking about how it can produce more money because notoriously all these big WNBA stars that are coming out, Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, are basically saying, yeah, this salary doesn't cut it. He eventually decides to come up with some ideas on on how to uh, procure some more, some more money for the WNBA, and people are calling it very sexist. Bro, imagine you. In I'm not same, imagining. On, let me finish. Imagine you in the same little shirt you had on at the Wild and Out show, Duncan. You know how many t-shirts you're gonna sell? Cause you tripping. Oh my what? god. <laughs> what? What? Oh the same little shirt you had on. Okay. All right. All right. You, all right. Duncan, all right. All right. All right. He's even trying to save him. He <laughs> kept going. You're going so, over the line, bro. I, I do think the, the clip, I'm not defending Shaq because he shouldn't have said it, but I do think the clip makes it look a little worse than the entire conversation. Because what Shaq was saying or trying to say was since she always does dress that way, instead of doing it for free, you should make people pay for it. And Ooh, Shout out to this brother. Shout out to this brother right here. Thank you. You are, look. He said, "You already out here. If you already go, if you're gonna do this, why not do it there?" Mm. Facts. Facts. He's like, "Bro, you already doing it with your ass out. There's so much evidence. You already doing it for free. Look, you already out here. So what's the problem? Why why you won't do it there? Now that's I don't suggest that they do this." I don't suggest that they do this. I don't think this is going to work with Angel Reese. They're just not attractive. I mean, nobody's just, I'm not going to pay for that. That ain't enough. But exactly. Oh, God damn it. Where did it go? Shaquille O'Neal is. I want to hear what that brother had to say. Because he was coming back with some common sense. He came in with some common sense. He kept going. He's going over the line, bro. I do think the, the clip. I'm not defending Shaq because he shouldn't have said it, but I do think the clip makes it look a little worse than the entire conversation. Because what Shaq was saying or trying to say was since she always does dress that way, instead of doing it for free, you should make people pay for it and, and turn it into a business. Because he was trying to speak to her from the standpoint of a businessman, that if you are going to be taking these kind of pictures and walking around with that kind of uh, clothes on, then maybe you should make people pay for it instead of getting it for free. Shaquille O'Neal. Man, shout out to that brother, man. Th thank you for bringing a common sense because this the business is struggling, just so we know. Uh, I wish I had this brother's name so I can give him some um, shout out right there. Exactly. I mean, that that's common sense. He's like, look, from a business perspective, <laughs> right? From a business perspective, y'all the one out here losing money. You guys don't have no viewership. All right, you guys are struggling. Bitch, you already out here. Why don't you just go out on the court like that? Now, I don't think that helps, but some men will pay for it. But as you can see here, goddamn, women in WNBA expected to lose $50 million in 2024 despite surging interest. So he's like, look, y'all already losing money. Hey, what's the next? <laughs> now, is it a, this is not the best suggestion. He's just thinking above it business-wise and, of course, a little bit lustfully. Shout out to that guy right there. Let me get to these super chats, man. That's actually a, a, a good point. But people want to get their panties in a bunch on that particular conversation here. Um, he said, by the way, Shaq did cover that he was not, he claims to not be sexually attracted to Angel Reese. So let me play this clip. You should be going through that. a man's phone. I agree that. Mm -mm. How many times have I told you I love you? A lot. Okay, so if a person knows me, it's like Shaq is Angel's mentor. He would never even cross that line with her. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. First person to say that, get out. Like, are you, are you, what? Why are you pretending you love her? What? I do love her. I love her as a daughter. I love her as a beautiful black woman who's making it. But obviously, you don't know me. All right, he said, you don't know me. All right, um, his, his defense is saying, I like white women. All right. Where the white women at? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Shaq's defense is she ugly. All right, that's not my type. And then, to be fair, Shaquille O'Neal likes short women. <laughs> right? To be fair, you don't see Shaquille O'Neal with no 6'3 women. All right, you see Shaquille O'Neal with some 5'2 women all the time. So he's saying, if you think I like Angel Reese, then you don't know me. 
That's true to an extent. But, but <laughs> obviously you don't know me. Obviously you don't know. If, if, if you think I'm, I'm messing with Angel Reed, you don't know me. Get out. I don't know about that, Shaq. I don't know about that, brothers. But uh, we'll let Shaq go ahead and live with that one right there. Wait, this clip. Check me out on the Free Agent Lifestyle channel for the best morning live stream every weekday. And, of course, we're back for the evening live streams as well. Check out the times in the featured channels on this channel right here. And also, the links are in the description box. I will see you there. New, 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 new world order.